Hey, what's up you guys? Hope you're doing well. My name is Andrew. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. Today I just wanted to share a story that I feel like a lot of people will be able to relate to because it's been on my mind and I just kind of want to get it off my chest. So, I'm about three years in on my transition. If you don't know anything about me, I'm female to male transgender and I, I've always lived a great life, but I'm definitely at a place now where I'm a lot happier than I used to be and I think a lot of people look at me um, just in admiration and a, a lot of people don't realize that they, they okay they look at me like I've had all of this support and that like you know I've just had this great transition and not to say that I haven't had a great transition but I definitely have not always had support whenever I first came out I, I want to say almost everybody doubted me. There is maybe, maybe my dad didn't, but literally everybody was like, this is just going to be a big, big mistake. I don't understand why you're doing this. You know, you were so pretty as a girl. I got every answer A to Z other than ones that would have made me feel supported and loved and, you know, been helpful. And I'm not blaming those people, but, um, I kind of decided to go against them because everybody told me not to do it and I was like well this is something I feel will be great for me so I'm going to do it anyways and if I, I end up alone then I end up alone you know so I went through it and now I'm kind of getting to the other edge where people can see that it was a very positive experience for me people can see it was worth it people can see that I'm happy it's almost like I've I've made it to them and so now a bunch of people are admiring me and saying, you know, wow, I can't believe you're transgender. I would have never guessed or, you know, that that's so awesome or that's great. And they're they're more interested. They're they're happy. And, and some even people will say sometimes people will even say things like, you know, I always knew you're going to make it. I, I just always knew it. <laughs> and. I, I just let them have it, but I can distinctly remember those exact same people being the people that were telling me not to do it. Um, this isn't necessarily only about my transition. This has happened to me repeatedly with anything that I thought I, I wanted to do. Any new concept or idea that I wanted to create, people have doubted me. Almost everybody. And I've realized the better the concept, the better the idea, is the more people doubt me my transition was the best thing i've done so far and that's the thing that people doubted me the most versus i had some support on dropping out of college and that was a great thing for me but it wasn't the best decision that i've made i'm telling you this because i'm sure that there is something that you want to do that when you say it people look at you like you're crazy or people look at you like it's never going to happen for you i'm telling you that's how you know that it is a great idea for you to do. If you're transitioning and you feel alone and you feel like you're not sure if you want to do it, don't look at the people that have done it. Those are the people that you should be listening to because they know way more what you're feeling and what you're going through than the people that have no idea that are trying to stop you. Just listen to yourself. Don't don't listen to what other people have to say. Ignore them, and I'm telling you, if you ignore them and you just push through, just continue to grind through it, they will come out the other end and they will be there waiting with admiration. And I know that it sucks and it feels so backwards because it would be so helpful to have that support while you're going through it. But I'm telling you, it's going to be there at the end, whether it comes from a stranger or whether it comes from somebody that was telling you not to do it, that doubted you. This is a lesson that I wish that I had figured out before I had transition because I think it would have made my transition a lot less conflicting because I feel like I was constantly spending majority of my transition trying to make sure people that didn't even believe in me were happy instead of just making sure that I was. I don't want you to feel alone and I definitely don't want you to not accomplish a goal or go for a dream just because other people don't think you can do it because I know that you can. Just know that I'm here for you. Other people will be there for you. You're not alone. And even if you are, it will totally be worth it because you won't always be alone. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.